Are you struggling in losing weight or even gaining weight? Well, this video is for you. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, HFT by Jude Choi. It's so good to see all of you once again, and I hope everybody is doing fine. So how are your BMIs coming along? So you might have noticed my hashtag, progress not perfection. I would like to encourage all of you to have that kind of mindset when you start doing things the first time. Usually we fall into the trap of doing it perfectly. But we do not need to do it perfectly the first time. We just have to do it right. That is why this video, the first few videos that I am showing you, would give you the knowledge so that you can do things right. But sometimes if we do things right, things still go wrong. So if things go wrong, we learn from it, we make the proper correction, we take smaller steps and smaller steps and progress and progress until we reach our goal. So if we have this kind of mindset, we will not be forcing ourselves to instantly achieve our goals. So yeah, that's progress, not perfection. Moving on, we will now be doing some number crunching. From the previous video on BMI, you should now be able to know whether you're underweight, you're normal, or you're overweight. So for some of you who haven't watched the video, you may watch the video so that you will be able to catch up with our discussion today. So if we're underweight and we're overweight, we are in the not okay. If we're normal, then we are in the okay. So fitness now is our capacity and capability to move from not okay to okay. So if we are underweight, we need to gain weight. If we're overweight, we need to lose weight. And if we're in the normal, then we have to maintain that weight. So from the previous video, I gave you a link on how we can measure our BMR. So what is BMR? BMR stands for basal metabolic rate. To put it simply, this is the amount of calories our body needs for us to be able to sustain life. So how do we compute our BMR? So this is the formula for BMR. So if you love math, then I'm sure you will love this formula. But to make others' life simpler, I've already placed the link from the previous video. So let's dig into that. We type the link that I've given you from the last video. This will present us with this screen. So this is a calorie calculator. We have a lot of calorie calculator available in the internet. But for today's presentation, we will be using this one for uniformity and for us to be able to understand its content. So given this screen, we have the option in entering our data in US units or in metric units. I am more familiar and more comfortable in metric units, so I will be clicking metric units. So either way, you will be getting the same value. So I will key in my age, <laughs> height in centimeters, and weight in kilograms. Now in activity, we hit down the drop-down menu and we hit BMR. Again, this is what we want to get, so we hit calculate. We are now presented with our BMR. So this is the total number of calories we need to consume in a day to preserve life at rest. But then again, most of us really move around and do some things. So you go back to activity and you hit the drop down menu. And here we choose the type of activity we do in a week's time. So for example, for me, I do exercise four to five times a week moderately. So I will be clicking this one and I will now be hitting calculate. Now we are presented with a lot of numbers. So don't be overwhelmed with these numbers. We will be discussing them one by one so that you will clearly understand what these numbers mean and so that you can make concrete steps in achieving your goal. We say calorie deficit because since this is our required calorie, we will be consuming less than what is required. So that is deficit. Now, if your goal is to gain weight, there is a link here below and you click on this one. Now, 
these are the total number of calories now you need to consume in a day to gain weight so we call this our calorie surplus meaning our reference to maintain weight we need to consume more than what is required and so we call it surplus so i have taken the screenshots of the results from the web of our calorie calculator and I have arranged them in such a way that it would be easier for us to understand the values. There are people who really get overwhelmed when they see a lot of numbers and they stop continuing. To summarize, BMR, this is the total number or the minimum number of calories we need to consume in a day to sustain life at rest. This value here is the total number of calories we need to consume in a day given the activity we do for the week. Okay, so anything we consume less than this will help us achieve weight loss or we call this our calorie deficit. Anything we consume higher than this will help us achieve a weight gain or calorie surplus. Again, in anything, always consult with your doctor, especially if you modify some health factors. In this case, we are modifying our caloric intake. You usually just deduct or add 500 calories from this value to know your ceiling and your floor. So if you add 500 more, that will be the maximum number of calories you need to take in to gain weight. You'll deduct 500 calories from this and that will be the total number of calories you need to take in to lose weight. Now if you look at the formula or the chart, 2,245 calories less 500 is this one. And if you look at it, if you want to do extreme weight loss, the total number of calories here is lower than this so meaning if you consume this this will not be able to sustain life on a daily basis at rest 2245 plus 500 we get this should also be avoided because if we increase weight in a fast way it might pose health issues the same is true if we do lose weight extremely fast it might also pose some health issues so now that we have a rough estimate on how much calories we need to consume for us to be able to lose weight or for us to be able to gain weight, you might be wondering, how would I know how much calories I'm taking in? So we have what we call our calorie references. I personally use MyFitnessPal, so it's just an application you download. You type in the food you take in and it will show you the amount of calories it contains. At the start of this calorie deficit or calorie surplus journey, you really have to be a little bit obsessive compulsive with the amount of calories you take in every day. But eventually you'll get used to it and once you see an item, you know how much calorie it contains. Yeah, so now we are aware whether we need to go on a calorie deficit to lose weight or calorie surplus to increase our weight. So I can now share with you some exercise tips, use of technology in monitoring our health and wellness, and of course, how to prepare proper nutrition that is appropriate for us. So all of this coming in the next videos. Yay! Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video informative or useful, please hit the like button. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please click on the subscribe button. If you have any comments, suggestions, or any violent reactions regarding this video, please don't forget to comment down below. Remember, stay healthy, be fit, and keep safe. Bye!